Okay. We're old-fashioned. We ain't using the selfie stick. I've got one. He's got one. Are we using it? No. no. Hell no. Okay. I am Hans. I'm Franz. And he's actually Franz. But uh, I'm just pretending to be Hans. And we are here to... Fuck you up. <laughs> I guess we have to do something. <laughs> you know what? Everybody's been asking. Not everybody. A couple people. Yeah. Show us your favorite knives. And, uh... Okay. Or your knife collection. No. 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 But I can't get it all out on the table. Plus, it's just going to be like a five-hour thing. Well, yeah. I, I really don't have that many knives. But I'm going to show you Casey Kasem's top 40. Or top 42. Something like that. we got about 40 on the table. So we're going to rock it, America, with my favorite knives. Going to go to the tabletop. I'll have Schmo here. You know, uh, <laughs> mess around <laughs> He's got two Harleys. He's badass. Look at that. You should have seen the burrito he ate today. That thing looked like a <laughs> rolled up birthday cake. And it came set on the table. He was, holy shit. It's, what a, do do? it's dinner for two. <laughs> his eyes started rolling back in his head. like, how you doing there, buddy? You want me to call 911 or get the paddles out? So it was, oh my God, that was hilarious. And then we went to Costco. Hey, you want some food samples, Linus? <laughs> Shit, no. <laughs> but that's a big bottle of whiskey. <laughs> so we haven't even started drinking yet. We're dangerous when we do that. Okay, so it's icing down in there. Got the Costco special beer. So here comes our knife favorites and why and this and that. And he'll ask me questions. I'll tell him, shut up. Okay, here we go. Are we going? Finally, jeez. It's getting to be a tough world. Okay, so here's the list. Is this the second page? Of course it is. God dang it. First page. Okay. Second page. Pause and read. Whatever. So we got a bunch. Uh, here they are on the table. We're going to have to pick all this crap up when we get done. And, uh, but, I just, I just kind of went through... The entire amount of knives that I have. This is only, by the way, this is only about knives that I have in hand. This is not about all-time best knives. This is about knives I have in hand that I really like, yeah. right? Okay, so, and we've kind of consorted, yeah. us being the experts, the international expert over there, USA here. <laughs> it's just going to be crazy. Okay, so... We're going to go one by one until it gets dark. Let's, let's hurry up. So which one is that? The Archeo, Dylan Mallory, Artisan Knives. So we're going to go alphabetically, by the way. Yeah. So check it out. And you know what? Crap on this. i got to turn around. Hold on. Okay. You get on that side, I'll get on this side. Dylan Mallory, this is better light. Okay, this is better light. Yeah, okay. Archeo by Artisan. Dylan Mallory, Timeless Design. Great knives, sleek, good looking. Comes in G10, comes in this, big, small, so how can it not fit them all? It's a great knife. Next, another one, my other one from Artisan that I have, and I have the large and the small in titanium as well, but I just got this in from White Mountain, and it's G10, it's a proponent, it's the big dog, Dirk Pinkerton, it's a bad boy. And I know it's stupid and heavy and everything, but how can you not love this knife? Yeah. It is great. It's wonderful. And it's got the little lanyard here with the bolt that goes through, makes it fixed blade and all that. It's just insane. There. Yes, that's whatever. Get out of here. What? Oh, and there's the bolt where the bolt goes. Yeah. Hey, you're go it's going for the logo doing one of those stupid things. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wilderness Explorer, Bark River. Does it get any better? No, it doesn't. Crew wear, loveless design. It's timeless. It's beautiful. It's incredible. And you can get it in 800 different channel materials on DLT for sure. And I, oh man, it's just too good. Then Mac V Sog, Antique Ivory Micarta. It is good looking. It's an awesome knife. It's bad. It's combat. It's Vietnam. It's everything. And it's really good. So going to the bees, Benchmade, you know. That's my grip, CPM 20 CV. With the blue liner. Yeah, with the blue yeah. liner. So, you, yeah. The pro model. And that was a gift from Frank, you know, up in New York. 
so thank you Frank yeah yeah, yeah. really nice and then uh, the uh, Contigo which I bought over <laughs> and over again from Knifeworks three or four different times in varying degrees of blue and black but M390 had it checked it was a 60 at least HRC and that is just an incredible knife I mean it just that does not get any better than that good grip big knife uh, great ergos uh, yeah I just love it I mean it's just me oh I hated this knife I've loved it ever since I thought it was kind of stupid or crazy I've you know no it's the Hornet you got to have one it's best tech and it's really good I even made a lanyard for it and I've got the red one too but yeah I can't get enough of that damn Hornet hate myself and the the musky best tech yeah it was kind of so so when it came out it's really a versatile blade piercing slicing easy to carry left right tip up that's and it. i dyed it Mind blue it and yeah 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 so it works from the lefties yeah it does yeah what do you think about that one what's that swordfish yeah so everybody gotta have a fish you're gonna have the best tech knife you got to go fishing, right? You got to have the fish, the swordfish, big knife, beautiful. It's the best-selling G10 knife they've got in their lineup, according to Wes. So next is the next best-selling, I think, the Paladin. Paladin. Be there, be square. Great blade shape, great ergos. Love it. Made a lanyard for it. Never going to get rid of that dog, right? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, yeah he's, beads we got, yeah. Yeah. Got the skull, sculled out. Oh, just got this a few days ago. Bam, hit my favorites list. Just like that, as soon as it came out of the box. The Emperor from CH Knives. Moku Tai surrounds, which you can't really. Can you really? Can we yeah, catch, yeah, catch it in the light? Right. There you go. Like that. Oh, front and back. Front and back. Check out that. That is beautiful. Smooth. What do you think? Yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, I, I want know. One. I know, yeah. I know. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay, so my favorite G10 of theirs, which is really hard to decide, the 3519. Blue, black, orange, whatever. Maybe green, I can't remember. But uh, hmm. that is just sensible, right? Yeah, it is. Feels good in the hand? Yeah, it does. Really good in the hand. <sighs> Yeah, that was a tough one. That 302 is good. Uh, there's just a 301. I mean, there's just 35. Of course, 3504 is classic. So we didn't take the Civivi out? <laughs> yeah, no. hell no. Why? Yeah, why not? Really? Okay, the Civivi Backlash. This happened to be not one I died, but this was a Mass Drop special. And rarely do I get standard production knives on Mass Drop, but there you go. Had to do that. Civivi Backlash. Uh, and the Praxis are probably my two favorites still of the G10 series. Good knife. Just yeah. hell of a good knife. Okay. Drop down to the beginning of the next row. What do we got? Oh, well, cold steel. Cold steel. You can't get steel without getting cold steel. AD10. Yes, I it's like it better than the AD15. It's a small thinner more practical version of the Formax, which i have as well and i do have the ad15 Ooh. don't yeah. don't tempt the gods my friend when you drop that blade good yeah, luck it drops oh yeah i've had it drop on my damn <laughs> finger that's a problem and the next is i know this is kind of a bizarre shit but i love the frenzy there's just it speaks to me it really does it's yeah it's a two-handed but that dog is big it'll get somebody's attention somehow and oh, that's just awesome. I love it. Frenzy awesome. And of course, the classic. I have the Canadian version, but I have this old school CTS XHP Recon 1. You can't have no fun unless you got a Recon 1. This is what got me into knives. Oh, My first it should visit be, yeah. in the States. Yeah. There you go. I mean, and that was a good one. Yeah. Smart buy, too. Yeah. Next, oh, Ganzo. Yeah, I just pulled one Ganzo. And yes, this is my favorite, the FH41 in D2. That is nice. That is nice. I mean, just come on, man. It's a Ganzo. But <laughs> it's cheap as shit. And yeah. <sighs> yes, love it. 
Okay, next. And you a know, small co- knife, gentleman's knife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, this one. Okay, so kudos to the sheepdog. I have a small titanium, and then I have this big uh, G10. Love the big G10 monster. Begged Kaiser to please produce this <laughs> when David's son was working for him, and they did. And so uh, it's put up or shut up. Yes, I sold the one I had, and then I turned around and bought another one. Can't live without it. There it goes. Bag lighter, bag lighter, and that's the Bogo deal with White Mountain. Stop me. That is just too good for twenty. What was it? Twenty three fifty. Yeah, something like that per knife. I mean, two knives. No, two knives for fifty nine. Then it nets down after discount. To, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like twenty three. Uh, it's just good, and the mini is great too. Great blade shape. Good ergos. Makes sense. Wonderful knife. Oh, mass drop. We got yeah. three mass drop knives that I just love, love, and that is the yeah, that's the Ferrum Forge Mordax. Linus hadn't had his hands on one before. Look at that. I mean, that's Pro Tech. And I'm light. Well, yeah, and you're yeah. left handed. But what do you think? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> freaking freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you're not in Europe anymore. No. Okay, so. And next. Yeah, I love this too because ah, this is one perpetual. of my favorite knives because oh I love man. the Benchmade. I yeah, mean, yeah, I mean that. And that, they're made in the US of damn A. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. that's just it's, beautiful. Yeah. And Nitro V Blade. Just, it was the first after Benchmade's patent disappeared that, and they came out with that. Schwartz Design, I think. So, TJ Schwartz. Nice, though. Yeah, nice. Thank you, TJ. Yeah. <laughs> Millet knives made it. Okay, so here we go. Orca. Eric Oaks. Orca. This is... this is One guy says, how is this not the knife of the year? Let me answer you. I don't know how it's not the knife of the year. This is carbon fiber, purple moku tie. It's a great knife. It's lightweight. Great ergos. Beautiful design. Look at the pocket. Oh, God. I love it. Hold on. If we can... Can I get that? Okay, yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, it's hard to appreciate under these lights, and I'm sorry for that. We had to have a huge place to lay them out, but yes. Oh, uh, and this is the Max Ace Balance S in 14C 28 in. It's awesome. Harry begged me out of my my yellow one, which I'll probably turn around and get later. God only knows. But I kept the pink one here. And it is the Max Ace Balance S. The Balance is always a great knife, but in 14C28 and for no more than those things cost, that's just crazy good. And Max Ace, can it be complete unless you have a Goliath? And I have the Goliath. I think he's marked those down to like 199. Now I know it's only K100 steel, which is like a D10 equivalent from Bowler, but it's got the the Zermascus bolster Uh, I don't know it's just a hoss and I just like it so much so hell with it I just can't part with it almost did once or twice and I got nah nah okay first the next row the PMP user I have only had this knife two weeks maybe slip joint but of slip joints and if you gotta have a PMP knife you gotta have this knife uh, I know Kluver jumped in to get one. I think they only made 200, but Stefan Stuhr is the designer. First knife, he's German, but it's nice. Yeah, you it's did really a great nice. job. And you I think really the, the liners, we checked them. They're titanium, yep. or at least they're not magnetic, and the pocket clip is not magnetic either, but the hardware is. The bolster, of course, is titanium as well. M390 blade, just great. Next. Okay. So, if it comes to real steel knives, this is really the most sophisticated Poltergeist Works knife of the bunch, the Citus, and that's got the glow in it too, but that's not the reason I like this, and it's on washers, so I wish, you know, of course, had it been on bearings, maybe a little bit better for my taste, but the ergos are just great, blade shape, so sensible, easy to carry. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to say no. That and the Luna. I almost picked the Luna instead, but the Luna is really good slip joint. Um, rake. If you're going to get a rake, P121, cheap as chips. I mean, I don't even think they cost you 30 bucks, And it's Sandvik, 14C28N. 
I think I paid less than 30 for this one. Insane. Really nice knife. Just love it. Liner lock G10. Hell with it. That's good. And then, damn you. Damn you, LTK. You got the shaman <laughs> in my car. We're going to mow the lawn. Get that white crap off of there. Kluver said some uh, food grade mineral oil. Your well, oil, oil. yeah, and your own oils eventually. Yep. But the crew wear, it's just, nah, forget about it. Forget about it, Joey. And then, uh, of course, you got to have a pair of two. I got the bento box one with M390. It's just stupid. Yeah, of course, you got to have one. The last, I'm sorry, and there's some other good contenders. But I got to go with the Native Chief. That flat grind, lock back, slender, lightweight, full size, crazy knife. Gives you all the carry options. That's just, I'm sorry, but I had to do it. Yeah, that's it. That's if I had to round out the three, and I, it'd be a, re, it's a tough choice because there were some other really, really good ones. But yeah, the Capera, ooh, second, really close. Okay. Oh, the Shaula from from uh, Steel Will bearings finally on a Chinese G10 D2. Unfortunately, it's D2, but other than that, um, you know. And look at that. What are the backspacers? Are they green? I mean, the standoffs. Yeah, the standoffs. Yeah, green. green. Yeah. yeah, but it's, it's not a big knife, but it's not small either. And man, the action's really nice. Almost good enough for a left hand person. Yeah, you're making this look like shit, aren't you? <laughs> like, I can't flip the damn thing. Okay, and then two your knife. I picked two. I like more, but I'm just going to show you two two your knives. The Kingsman, elegant, sophisticated, lightweight, smooth M390 60 Rockwell, and baby, that thing's light, gentleman, but it's still three and a half inch blade. I believe. And so, there you go. Standard EDC. Not a tiny gentleman's knife, but damn good looking. <sighs> Marble carbon fiber. Yeah. Oh, Cebu. I'll tell you what. Oh, man. That is just such a nice knife. I don't know why. I don't know why. But for a G10 knife, I really like. Is that N690? I can't remember. I ain't got my readers on. I don't D2. know. D2. That's a D2? It's a D2. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. But still, man, yes, yes. I really like that. I don't know why I can't get it out of my blood. I got a green one. I got the smooth micarta one. I'm stupid. Oh, bruiser. Okay, that's number three. Okay. And that has to go in the package. Bruiser D2. I get it. We had it checked. It's good. HRC. And it looks black, but it's really a dark blue. I dyed it from a brown. And I'll tell you what. I got rid of a bruiser. Then I got another one. I got rid of another bruiser. Got another one. Can't get it out of my blood. Got to have one. I use it continually. Nice. Yeah. Last row. <clears throat> uh, Sean Hassan. Tepe Designs. Out of the Bay Area. California. Wow. I mean, come on. That's a Shockwave. TS-134. And Blaze We Love did the Anno. And it's M390, and it's tremendous design. I love his Hornet, his Killage, but I'll tell you what, I'm sorry. I still got to have Shockwave. Got to have a Shockwave. And then Wong, my buddy Wong Dinjin, the TS-162, best Tucson knife ever made so far, as far as I'm concerned. My absolute out-of-the-box favorite in S90V, titanium, carbon fiber, 120 or something i can't remember but yeah i mean what well, ebay they're various but come on man that's crazy good and that thing is beautiful ergos contouring just get out of here then the swedish knife <sighs> oh another wong design sorry i'm really hooked on his stuff but that's the ts81 that came with bone inserts so i dyed them blue which was really easy and then i sent it to blades we love and he threw some gold on there if that's not stunning that thing i love that design mm. so if i had to pick three there you go and i got <clears throat> oh hell i got 30 two sun knives easy we 614 or get the hell out of here 614 
614, I know it's a big dog, but it's heavily weight relieved on the inside of the scales. Fairly light for what it is. Yes, it M390, is. smooth as a baby's ass. Isn't yeah. it? <sighs> Come on. <Are> you <laughs> You're grabbing the log bar, shaking yeah. it out. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This is beautiful. What the hell? Dracon. Dracon. Because that's the integral. Okay, how's it going? 604? No. Dracon. Yeah, it's got the scales, fish scales, bronze ish. But, oh, man. Probably one of the best integrals other than my. Oh, my Jack by, by Riot. And I'm sorry, I don't have my Riot Jack. And I don't have my Kaiser Odin back yet. But those are definitely, definitely on the list. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that Kaiser Odin is killer. Bragnitz, my buddy Ivan. And then, of course, that Riot Jack is... It's a beast, but it's damn good looking. Um, oh, Miscreant. You know, and that's what... That's a Burnley design... Two point whatever ounces, like two point eight at the most. Full tie. I mean, that's just that's ridiculous. Great in hand, nine inch knife. I mean, it's, you'd think it's a beast, but it doesn't weigh a damn thing. It's just nope. beautifully done. Here we have. Uh, we finally got back to an American, but yeah. ZT. This is the only way I'm going to roll with the uh, with the four fifty two, right? This is the full tie. Instead of carbon fiber, slab on one side, blah, blah, blah. Got the full tie. But I got this from Frank, right? Up in New York. And uh, he sent it for a table sale. I just bought it. The anna was real weak. It kind of worn because he had, he had uh, carried it for a while. Okay, so I sent it to Blades We Love and says, get busy. So he did, and it's just beautiful. Um, it's cool. I love the full type. The Sinkovich, you know, all that, but come on. That's the best thing they've done in a long damn time. 456. Another one. Really, really good. But if there was two, it'd be this and the 456. And maybe the six, 562 <laughs> tie. Hinderer. That'd be it. Then I'm done. For now. Okay. But yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. The what question. The, that what's the question? The question that's going to be in the comment section. What? You get to pick one knife. Which one is it? It's going to be this one. <laughs> 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 what the hell? Fixed blade? I think, I think I'd have to stay with this. I don't know. Maybe the Mac V. See, I can't, that's not even a fair question. No, but you're going to get it in the comment section. Oh, Check. Shit. Check. Oh. I'm looking around. I don't know. How can I say no to some of these? Like that Oaks Orca? No, 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 no. The Emperor? You kidding me? No. Forget about it. Just forget about it. Um, <laughs> no, shit. You have to. The Mordax? Oh, <sighs> yes. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Um, Shaman? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Not over my dead body. Uh, shit. I don't know. I'm definitely going to keep this in there, too. So, I don't know. I mean, I know I got five, and I don't think I can live life without a frenzy. So, I think that would that would, that would would win to the but cold. That's steel. not a knife. That's a sword. So that's that, a, that doesn't count. Oh, okay. Well, good. I'm glad it doesn't count. I can go on. I don't know. And then the best tech. You know, what? how do you choose from a paladin, the fish, the musky, the hornet? Nah. It's just stupid. That's a stupid question. You're fired. Okay. Oh, and the 614. <sighs> forever. Forever. Forever and ever. Yeah, there okay. you go. Stop asking questions. Okay, yeah. what else we got? It's getting dark. <sighs> yeah, it is. How cold is the beer? It's cold. <sighs> but outside here, it's cho shorts I know. and tank top. Isn't that sickening? My wife's <laughs> up in Illinois right now with her mom. Yeah freezing her ass off and here we are oh his wife's not here my wife's not here it's yeah 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 i don't think they'd approve of our eating or drinking habits you don't think since you've been here no <laughs> no not at all no lots of meat lots of beer okay, okay i guess we can let you go yeah hey thank you guys 
And we just want to let you know. We love them knives. Yes, we do. So you guys stay, stay sharp. sharp.